Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 and we are in the infected. And it's a new day. We're getting close to December. We're getting very close to winter. And I know that's going to be a challenge because we're going to have blizzards and stuff and uh, there's not enough clothing in the game to wear to to survive in a blizzard. So if a blizzard comes up, we'll have to run indoors to where we have our coal heater to stay nice and toasty and try to get this going let me see what we have over here do we have eh, let's get some more in there yeah I kind of wonder what will happen after I start getting some of this stuff done I do wonder exactly what I should do once I start to kind of run out of content and things to do. You know, there's only so much building I can realistically do before there isn't uh, any more things to really build. I wonder, should I, should I start another game? Maybe we can kind of go between this game and another game, perhaps. I know somebody mentioned uh, Green Hell. They would like to see a Green Hell, Green Hell series. So that's very possible. Definitely is a doable thing. We could do Green Hell. And what else is there out there? I'm trying to remember the other, other games. Okay, let's see. That should be... Alright, that should be enough there. So there's uh, Green Hell. What's the other ones? Man, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now uh, I mean what we're looking for is kind of a build craft survive kind of game because that's that's what this channel is kind of doing even though I've done some World of Warcraft in this channel before and I have some Diablo stuff in here um, you know I don't think that we're gonna put that in there I don't think I don't know if there's a lot of interest in me perhaps showing videos of play of you know the gameplay experience for World of Warcraft or from Diablo and right now I don't want to do Diablo 2 you know that, that I played that game so long and even though sometimes it's kind of fun to try to figure out what kind of things I can do to make the game interesting what kind of challenges can I add to the game to make it a challenge again or just make something funny to do there's like a, there's a streamer, not a streamer, but a YouTuber. I guess he is a streamer too. And what is his name? I think it's Llama MC or something like that. And he does a lot of very interesting uh, things on his his YouTube channel. And a lot of it is focused around Diablo 2 stuff. So he does crazy things. For example, he'll do he'll do dares. Not, maybe I don't know if I call him dares, but he'll try uh, different things like um, playing the game Diablo 2 with his other hand you know I, I'm a, I'm a right-handed player so I use the right hand mouse or the mouse is on the right side I've never played any game with my left hand with my mouse on the left hand I mean but he'll do it sometimes and there's also games where you can do where um, I guess he uses software of some sort that a mod that will spawn multiple versions of his mouse across the screen which has got to be very challenging when you see you know 10 20 different versions of your mouse on the screen you're trying to play the game and you can't figure out okay which one of these mouse symbols you know pointer symbols is actually the one that where my mouse is you know and that's pretty funny uh, what else? Uh, he does a lot of different things. He's done a lot of different things. And, you know, that's kind of cool and stuff. Um, you know, I've enjoyed watching his channel sometimes. I don't I don't watch it nearly as much as I used to. But if you're into Diablo 2, you know, I recommend Llama MC as, as a gamer who has really good, interesting, cool, fun stuff to watch him try to do. And he might be... Uh, he might be doing some streaming for uh, Diablo 4 when it comes out. 
I know he, I don't think he does Diablo 3 at all. And I did Diablo 3. So for a little while, I did uh, do videos of Diablo 3 at the time. Um, I think my favorite character to play, well, at least in the very beginning, was to play, uh, I think it's called a Crusader. I, I think of it as a Paladin. Maybe it is a Paladin. I can't quite remember, but it's either a Crusader or a Paladin class. I always have a lot of fun with that. It's always my go-to is to play the Paladin. Um, but near the end, I was getting heavily into the Witch Doctor. I thought that was a lot of fun too, a lot of potential. But I've seen other players, you know, um, have a lot more fun with different classes. Like the Assassin. I could never really get into the Assassin or the Barbarian. I did, what was it called? Um, the Sorcerer. Yeah, the Sorcerer. I do have some videos where I'm playing the Sorcerer. And she's really overpowered, in my, I, in my opinion, if, you, if you're playing uh, the spec right. But to me, it's like that was a little bit too challenging to try. Sometimes it's difficult. And that's only like, you know, there's like four main buttons that you use to play some of the abilities. And then there's mouse buttons you can use to set up other abilities to use during the game. And then you can just use ASD or, um, you know, your, your mouse movement to try to guide yourself around the game. It's always been a problem for me in World of Warcraft. Is there's just too many abilities. There's too there's too many abilities to have to for me to be able to set up mouse clicks. I've always had a problem with that. And right now in World of Warcraft and tonight's a night that we have our raid. And we're raiding uh, a a raid called Castle Nathria. And we've already cleared it on normal. We haven't cleared it on Heroic yet. We're about, what is it, five or six? Maybe seven of ten in Heroic. Can't quite remember where we are. And I'm playing a Shadow Priest. I had played a Paladin. Um, for a long time, I, I don't know why it is. To me, it's like, I love the Paladin class. I love the, the story behind it that to me is like lawful good that kind of lawful good character you know Dungeons and Dragons type of attitude is what I've always liked always liked that I don't know why it is it's just um, Paladin was my go to once I started playing World of Warcraft when I saw the different classes I could play and at first I played uh, a tank a tankadin <laughs> a, a tank a paladin tank because, you know, they survive better, more survival class. I mean, way back at the very beginning of World of Warcraft, right, being a healer and doing solo content, because in case you didn't know, I do a lot of solo play. As much as I do enjoy um, playing with other people, yeah, as much as I do enjoy playing with other people, I'm definitely, I mean, one of the best things about Phasmophobia, the game, is playing with other people. Sometimes they're annoying. Sometimes you get some kids and they're really annoying to have to play with. Or sometimes you get other people, like, you know, they, they, they say things. It's like really inappropriate stuff. It's like, man, I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. I want to play the game. And you get all these goofballs and people like making noises from the game. And, and, and other people who are, you know, they can't, they can't, you know, they can't play the game for more than four minutes before they get bored and they like want to leave the game. And then the next thing you know, they've left and the game is bugged out because if somebody leaves in the middle of a Phasmophobia game, it can be almost impossible to finish. Seriously. For any of you who maybe played Phasmophobia, you know what I'm talking about or thinking about it. It's one of the challenges of the game is if somebody leaves, it bugs out the game. Uh, sometimes, every once in a while, 
I mean, I haven't had a lot of people leave our games, but sometimes somebody just disconnects. You know, they have a bad connection for whatever reason. And sometimes a person just gets really impatient. And you're in a big map, and, and it's taken a while to find the ghost, and it's taken a while to get the clues, and, you know, th they're ready to leave now because they don't want to spend another 10 minutes. And you're like, man, you know, we still haven't found dirty water <laughs> and yeah they're like and they're like no no i don't want to find dirty water you're not going to find it and i and i do agree with that i don't i won't keep playing a game just to find dirty water if that's the last objective because i know i know dirty water can be almost impossible to find in phasmophobia and let i mean you either get it or you don't you're not going to get it if you stay longer if you could extend the game hours and hours and hours and not worry about your sanity, you're just not going to get dirty water ever, period, for any reason. So I can understand people doing that, but when they do it, when they leave, the game kind of, it, it it fails to work. You, I, I've seen this. I've seen ghost hunts that start and there's no ghost. I mean, you can stand out in the hallway. What, I mean, even if you have found the room where the ghost is in, you can kind of stand there and just like, okay, we know where the ghost is. We're putting down all the equipment. We're setting everything up. And then the hunt starts and people are like, ah, run to the other room. And you realize that, you know, there's... Sometimes you maybe hear noise from, from the hunt, actual noise, and you think, oh, it's hunting us. But sometimes it's like there's nothing, there's no noise. And then you realize when you get back to the van that you're missing one person. And either they left or they disconnected. And okay, well, now your game is busted. Now your game is completely and totally busted. Forget it, you can't finish it. And that's always a bummer, but you know it happens. It just happens. You know, I don't assume anything. Try not to assume anything. I try to give people um, the benefit of the doubt. So sometimes in channel you might... I, I'm assuming now that I'm kind of going into uh, YouTube content creation full time that in all likelihood we're going to get some people on the channel who are going to be negative. And I know we've gotten that. But... I've decided that I don't I don't want to take that attitude. I don't want to no, I don't want to take a negative response to somebody else's negative response if I, if that makes any sense. You know, tit for tat is just not the way I want to do it. What I want to do is I want people to come in. I want to do my best to make fun, interesting stuff for you guys to watch cuz that's what you want. And sometimes it's not like sometimes we're working on stuff like this and this is just it gets to be a bit of a grind, you know? It's a bit it's a bit of work. But okay, so we got all the walls all the walls done. And now we're gonna start putting in place the second floor. Now let's go get a whole bunch of ceiling. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's get this in place. So try to get this to follow the same pattern as what we have below. So, so I don't want to do that. And you know what? If if you see somebody in in our channel, who's, you know, giving giving me some grief or something like that, all I would say to you is, don't don't reply, man. Don't. You know, I I I don't know what's going on in these people's lives that they would do that. And I don't. I I like to think that I'm, I've experienced enough, and understand enough about people that to not try to prejudge people too much. You know, whatever is happening, whatever reason they, they act like that, you know, there's got to be a reason. And if there's a reason, um, we're just not going to know. And, and I'm not, I don't really want to like engage them in personal conversations. Like, you know, this is just, we're just, a, this is just for fun. You know, we're trying to have fun. I'm trying to entertain people. You know, this is this is very much like watching television, except for, you know, instead of watching television, we're watching, you know, gaming and stuff like that. 
we're trying to get involved in you know the stuff that we that the TV doesn't give for us anymore you know I'm not interested in what's on the TV anymore there was a period of time when I was and I'm sure for different people there might be a lot of shows you know their stories their their soap operas and stuff that they like and enjoy and they watch religiously and that's great but for me it's like uh, for me TV's just not doing it anymore and and ever since um, you know streaming uh, platforms like Netflix and even um, uh, Amazon and I haven't really tried Hulu or I don't have Disney I'm, I'm not I don't have any of these channels anymore I did for a period but once you know I was out of work it's like I gotta cut all my expenses everything everything so you get rid of get rid of Netflix get rid of uh, Amazon get rid of everything gotta be really responsible can't afford those when you don't have a job and that's fine you know that's okay it's just the way it happens not the end of the world I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me you know <laughs> That, that doesn't matter. Everything's going to be okay in the end. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's just, we're trying to, we're trying, we all have a shared interest in what, what we're doing here. Oh, look at that. Did I just do that? Wait a second. Oh, yep, yep. I thought that this stuff wasn't supposed to be I thought the developer made it so the stuff would definitely not be solid, no matter what. Okay. I guess I'm just hearing my own footsteps. Yeah, he's always got to be in the video somehow. Alright. Yeah, so what I want to say is what I'm hoping for this channel is I'm hoping to make cool, interesting stuff. And I hope to build it, definitely. I mean, this... I want this to be a new career and I just want to make sure we're all on the same page you know people people come from different different walks of life and you don't know what was going on with someone's life that maybe brought them to where they are in terms of their attitudes it's like I don't want to talk too much about what's going on in the current world but we don't understand what's going on with some of these people with some of the behaviors that we are seeing you know I mean it's there's always been things like protests and stuff but some of it's getting a little bit wacky it's getting a little bit too much and I don't know why these people are doing some of the stuff they're doing I don't condone it I just I don't want to jump to conclusions so way back when way back when uh, the internet started becoming a thing in the mid 90s and people were getting into America online and they were uh, getting to email and stuff, first starting email. Man, I remember emailing my sister. And sometimes, sometimes I send off an email to her and I get a reply. And my first, that's, it was, you don't go in there. That's not your place. You, that, this is the whole, see everything here? This is yours. See this thing that's made out of wood? That's not yours. You, you don't get that. You get everything else you can see with the exception of the fact you got stuck inside of my base. You're inside my compound. You can't get out. Well, that's that's just too bad for you. Anyway, um, she and I, uh, you know, at first we started email and all that stuff like everyone else, like everyone does with their family in the very beginning. And I know that in the, let's see. I, I, let's just do this. Let's get this area done first. I kind of want to kind of looking forward to seeing what this area because this is going to be like this would be like one of the unique areas of our base where we're going to have outdoor uh, seating for people who want to eat their lunch outdoor. I know we're going back in that whole fantasy. Um, just in a side note, I one time worked for a company called uh, Thomson Reuters. For you who don't know, Thompson Reuters is a very big company. And their main operations uh, is a very big building. It's a very, very big campus, okay? It's one of those types of buildings. It's huge. And I think they have maybe at least one 
outdoor seating area like upon their their second or third floor of their main building their campus in Egan Minnesota and that's what I was thinking it was like I want to have outdoor eating and I want to have it outside on top of the building instead of just like well you can go outside if you want sit on the ground maybe we can buy a couple of tables and chairs for you to go outside it's like no no I'm gonna make outdoor seating so you can you could kind of be right by the building you don't have to go out so outside and it's going to be up in the air so maybe there'll be less uh mosquitoes and or bees and i don't get outside because i hate bees and some reason bees like me very much mosquitoes like me bees like me it's like yeah i'm one of those people i don't know what it is but i just am so anyway as i was kind of saying is um some people come into the channel and they bring a little bit of you know behavior that's not appropriate and i don't know why maybe this is their thing they just enjoy causing issues and to me like the best thing to do is just ignore them it's what everybody says you know as i spend more time doing content creating try to learn about what things i can do to help grow my channel what things i shouldn't do my understanding one of the things I shouldn't do is shouldn't give these people I'm trying very hard not to give this deer attention but he seems to want it anyway okay so my understanding again is if you don't say anything the trolls might go away and even then you know I don't want to call him a troll this is a human being on the other side of this conversation and I don't know what what their deal is and i don't want to assume things and i don't want to say things like i go to other channels that i love and enjoy there's one channel um not one channel but one i'm going to close that so he doesn't come in here so there's one series oh, what what in the world press the wrong button ah stop pressing oh my god stop pressing the wrong button <laughs> so there's uh there is uh a series uh, a story uh, or I, I I'm trying to think about I can't I'm coming up with a sh I, I'm cutting up I'm struggling with words right now so there is a channel or a series it's called SCP it's C secure contain protect it's a series about anomalous which means creatures that have special abilities that the SCP Foundation is trying to prevent or stop from, uh, you know, endangering people. And they have different kinds of levels of these SCPs. And some are some are very dangerous. I think they call them Keter. Keter means that they're like, they'll like they'll kill you. So clearly, these these creatures, these creatures. Um, they try to keep them contained within their facilities so they don't harm people. And then there are some that are way down to like, they're like safe, you know, they're kind of innocuous. They don't cause problems. Even some that are such, there are such good anomalous creatures that people like to go see them and spend time with them because they're just nice and fun and enjoyable and cuddly creatures. Yeah, I know we're having a problem here. We're, we're clearly having a problem with our understanding. I would open the door, but it could take too long to try to get him out. I need a. I need. I need the. the we need to ask the developer for a button that allows us to kick animals out of our base. So anyway, um, yeah, we're kind of getting there. The video's starting to get a little bit long. We got a lot of work to go, man. A lot of work to go and it's going to be winter and we're going to have blizzards and every time we have a blizzard I'm going to have to head inside because blizzard will be too cold and I'll take too much damage. I mean I could try to tough through it and just um, you know make sure I got a ton of cucumbers so I can heal up all the damage I'll take from the cold the extreme cold of the blizzards. Well anyway um, this is really really interesting this whole really interesting series if you like this kind of stuff, you might like SCP. Secure, contain, protect. 
I think it's a really interesting story these guys have come up with. I think it started in the early 2000s when people started writing stories. I think they're really cool. Some are kind of stupid, but some are very intriguing and enjoyable. I think probably one of my more interesting uh, storylines I like from it is the flesh that hates. I think that, um, and I think, what is the other one? When Dawn Breaks, I can't re quite remember what the event. It's it's called an Apollyon event, which means end of world scenario event. That if it happens, it's like all humanity is, the majority of humanity is going to disappear. Here comes your buddy. Go, go play with her. Why don't you go play with her? Why don't you go play with her? I, I open the, I hope the gates open. You can go. You, you can go now. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just wasted one arrow on this stupid deer. I'm not wasting any more. Not wasting any more. Yeah, it's getting late. It's getting a little bit late. It's going to start to get too dark. And we'll wrap up the video. I know kind of all over the place a little bit with the discussion. I just, I mean, I can't control what you're going to do. If you if if you get angry with somebody and, and you say something, you're, you're going to do that, you know. But what my hope is, is just that um, try not to let yourself get dragged into, um, you know, negative discussions if they happen. And if you do, you do. I'm right now my plan is not to kick anyone or I mean I don't know if we can kick them but <laughs> I could certainly do something to prevent their notifications from being shown up there's I'll have to figure out what options I have in case something gets really bad because I don't want um, I don't want something bad to start happening on the channel and for people to feel like you know this is a negative place to be real words negative you know I just don't want I want this to be you know enjoyable place where we can talk about stuff and people give me hints and and tips and stuff you guys you know do help me out tremendous amount and I want that to be you know the kind of the whole way that this thing goes anyway let's see I think I have most of these okay just Stick one in there. Ta-da! Alright, it's getting late enough. Yeah, yeah, let's just wrap up the video. At least we kind of starting to get the second floor going. We got something built up here. Nice big area. We can, I'm going to put a bunch of tables and chairs down here. We'll make sure there's railings all around because I'm sure building codes are like outdoor seating. That's, uh, that's part of the building needs to have railings. To keep, you know, people from accidentally falling off. It's not that we're worried about people falling. We're worried about people jumping. And, okay. There's a good... Tough. How would I get a good... Good screen... Good thumbnail. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So, um... Yeah, yeah. We'll just kind of wrap it up here. And if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Get alerts when I come out with my next video. I always come out with new videos every single day. It's always a comment. You know, I definitely read them, get back to you when it's relevant. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.